Hello, welcome to Premier Guns, and today we're going to be talking about the 690 series of guns from Bretta. The 690, all the way up to the 692, is now a discontinued model of guns. That includes the 695. I haven't got all the 690s here to show you, but they do. Uh, they did. A, these are only the clay ones. They did a 690 series with silver actions with engraving. So they did a one, two, three, four, and then the five. The 695 was, a, I haven't got one today, was a limited edition, which they made a, uh, a set number for the UK market, which had a high grade wood on it. Um, it also had a, a very nice scroll engraving. Very similar to the Silver Pigeon 5 of today, that's what's replaced the 695. At the start of the range, you had the 690 Black, um, which was a black action with the orange, uh, orange inlay. They did it in an adjustable and a non-adjustable version and in 30 and 32 inch. Same with the 692, they did a 692 silver. Mechanically, there's absolutely no difference in the whole range. The 694 has got a slightly different safety mechanism on the inside, um, but apart from that, very minor. All the 690 series guns came with rubber top levers, so it was part metal, part rubber. The idea was that, in, certainly with clay shooting, if you're opening it a lot of times, it uh, saves your thumb a bit, um, but they ditched that when they did the 694. So the top lever on the 694 is very similar to a DT11 uh, style uh, top lever, uh, a bit more ergonomic. The rubber does, could tend to perish over time. It can be replaced, but it, was, it never really took off. So in the 694, they ditched that. Uh, asset. All the 690 range use the same sort of choking system, Optima HP, same as what's in the DT11s. These guns came in 30 and 32 variations. Um, the 690 gain guns, I believe they did them in 28 inch, but all the clay models went from 30 to 32. All the guns came with an option for adjustable and non-adjustable. It's got some here, that's a factory adjustable uh, 692 um, and this is uh, a fact it's a adjustable but it's an aftermarket system it's not one that Bretta did the 694 at the top is just without an adjustable cane the 694 took a little bit of inspiration from the 725 in the sense that um, it was thicker in the grip came with a palm swell a bit like the 725 does because um, all the other 690 series guns apart from the 694 don't come with palm swells um, the comb height was changed as well. On the 694s, they're higher compared to the uh, the standard 692 Sporters, which is a, a good step in the right direction. A lot of guns really are too low in the comb for most people. Not everyone, but for most people. So having um, making them higher to start with was a step in the right direction. Some of the other 694 models, um, also come with different stock dimensions and different barrel setups. Mechanically, they're all the same, but I am going to show you a few now. The one at the top is a standard 694 Sporter, 30, 32 inch barrels, um, standard comb height. Uh, it came in adjustable or non-adjustable, um, but for the most part, very standard sporting rib, uh, no, no mid bead, white end bead. You can change them out for different colors. Uh, same with all the other 690 series of guns. Ventilated mid rib. Then they brought out the 694 Skeet Gun. So higher in the comb. Main, most of them come with an adjustable comb. Same palm swell. Um, the barrels are the main difference with these. So the barrels on these um, are haven't got a mid rib. So floating barrels designed, you want a lighter barrel. So this is more of a limpic Skeet Gun design where you need to get it up get the gun up quicker, uh, move it move it quicker from side to side. Um, so this is the only model that comes with floating barrels. All the C 694 ski guns also come with a bit more orthodox barrel that's coming 29 inch barrels opposed to the, the standard 30, 32 inch setups. Then you have the 694 um, DTL gun, trap DTL gun. Again, massive difference here. Monte Carlo stock to start with. So it's higher in the comb, but also came with the, came, come with the adjustable comb system. Palm swell, same as the Sporter, same, uh, same dimension in the grip. But well, the biggest thing here is the rib and the forend. So the forend is a beaver tail style forend. A lot of people prefer that. The ribs on these are called a stepped rib. So they start out almost like a normal sporting rib and then they raise up to a higher point compared to a standard sporting rib. I quite like these ribs actually, uh, but it's only the detailed guns that come with them. As stated below, all these guns, all the 690 series guns, don't come with an auto safe system. They can be fitted with an auto safe system, but being um, a sporting gun, um, they do do game models in the, six, in the 690, they were auto safe, but the sporting guns um, all 
all non-auto save. So they can have auto put on them. If you've got a game gun, they can be, the auto save can be re removed by a uh, competent gunsmith. The last variation in the 694 range is um, that we have here today is the ACS, all competition sport. Um, almost designed as a, well, as the name suggests, a gun that can do everything, bit of sporting, trap, uh, ski, that sort of thing. Same as the DTL, uh, Monte Carlo stock, adjustable comb, palm swell as before, so you can really tell the difference between left and right hand, also something I should have mentioned, all these guns come in left and right handed configurations. The top levers are all right handed. Beretta don't do a, a dedicated left hand top lever. Um, I'm sure if you go down the SO route, they might do if you chuck enough money at it, but um, on, the, on the standard guns, even the DT11s, it's all right handed top levers. And tell the, one of the bigger differences with this is the rib. Rib is it's sort of a standard trap rib, um, not a, high, a really high rib, but quite a lot higher than most uh, the most sporters. Um, come with mid, mid beads on these as well. Uh, non beaver tail four ends and ventilated mid ribs. All these ones come with ventilated mid ribs, apart from the 694, which has uh, the 694 Skeet, which has the um, the floating barrels. Here at Premier Guns, we do have um, a dedicated 694 32 inch sporter demo gun, which can be tried. Um, so by all means, if you're in the market for a 694, um, we can uh, we book you in for a demo with the gun, um, hopefully enjoy it. And if you do like it, we can go down the route of potentially buying one. Failing that, you think, actually, you really want the 694, you shoot the demo, you don't like it. We've got plenty of other demo guns. As stated in the previous video, you know, Browning, all the Bretta, uh, Bretta demo guns. Something I should also state is all the 690s now are discontinued, apart from the 694 range, and the 690 Black. So they still do the 690 Black edition, and they also still do the 694, but every other uh, 690 series is now discontinued. Um, hopefully Bretta will do a 694 Black edition. I'm sure it is on the cards, on the table. Um, but only time will tell. Um, these really are stripping a big demand for these. So the goods are making are pretty much going out and sold. So the idea of probably making a black edition probably isn't high priority at the minute for them, but it will come at some point. All these guns come with ABS cases as well. So from new, six, nine, the standard 690 series all the way up to 694 in all the different configurations come with ABS cases. Uh, I'm going to show you today, but it's, you know, your generic Bretta plastic ABS case with all the bits you'd need, chokes. If you have the adjustable models, they come with all the tools to adjust it. Something I will also mention, the 694 comes with the same system as the DT11s do for weighting the gun. So come with the ability for stock weights um, and barrel weights. The 694s come with the actual barrel weights, but the, uh, sorry, actual stock weights, but they don't come with the barrel weights. The barrel weights can be purchased to any Bretta dealer or on the internet. None of the 692s come with the ability to put the barrel weights on apart from the 692 Black Edition. That is the, the only gun in the range, apart from the 694, that can utilise the barrel system, uh, the, uh, the weight system on the barrels. Main reason for that is the 692 Black has a carbon rib. So the actual barrels are a lot lighter um, than a, a standard 692 or 4. Um, so it gave the option for people to weight them out. If they actually like the look of the carbon, but they wanted still a heavier barrel, they could have that option to put them on. All these guns come from new, um, came with five uh, extended um, Optum HP chokes. Um, obviously, second-hand guns may vary. They may have been taken out, swapped and changed, but new ones should come with five chokes. The 690 range also has the ability to change the triggers. So you can change them for different feeling triggers, so more curved, uh, rigid triggers, dimple triggers for grip. Um, same with, again, all the models, apart from the 690T black standard one. It's a fixed trigger, so you, there's no way you can change it out, uh, certainly simply anyway. All come with the micro core system, so even from the standard 690 black, even, and well, all the 690 range, um, had the ability for changing the pads, so you can make them longer, shorter if need be. Some of the game models came with hard heel plates, like the 695s, game guns. More traditional, really, not, some people prefer them, I don't, I think they kick like hell, but some people like them. Um, 
but if you didn't like them you can sort them out for rubber pads that's just a quick again quick overview of the 690 range if you have any questions by all means give us a call or email us um, happy to help uh, or drop a, uh, a comment down below I'm sure someone will get get back to you uh, and answer the question um, here we do have a selection here of second hand guns these are all second hand guns we're always getting new stock in and out so if there is something you're looking for in the market for looking for just give us a call or email and we'll hopefully be able to sort you out with a new uh, new purchase